artists inspire other artists. And for two Palestinians, a poem by an American writer was a springboard into a large, complex installation. It even sent them into the deep end to explore diving, wrecks, ruins and nature. Take a look. First, the air is blue, and then it is bluer, and then green, and then black. I am blacking out, and yet my mask is powerful. It pumps my blood with power. This poem was what made two Palestinian contemporary artists create an installation. But the wrecks that Basil Abbas and Ruan Abu Rame visited to create their artwork were ruins of Palestinian villages. And Yet My Mask is Powerful comes from a poem by Adrian Rich, uh, written in the 70s. And Adrian Rich, uh, her work was an inspiration for this investigation. And the artist took uh, sections of this poem and reorganized it to be the text for the video installation. Neolithic masks found in the West Bank and portrayed throughout the installation connect with the diver's mask in the poem. Both kinds of masks are meant to represent protection and power. The installation stretches through three rooms at the Alt Art Space in Istanbul. There's one room that's a five-channel video installation and the other two rooms are one audio and video installation, and then masks, plants, stones, images, printed images, projected images, um, all these materials that make up their, the rest of their installation. The ruins, which Abbas Abu Rame and their cameras visited, are overgrown. For the artists, these crumbling villages on contested land became a metaphor. They saw how nature, and not politics nor armies, is the dominant force. It's overtaking these buildings and stones. For them, nature began to represent power and resistance. The West Bank, though, is home to Abbas and Abu Rame, only part-time now. They work between New York and Ramallah. They go back and forth. And so they're looking at the world through the lens of being Palestinian and talking about the world and how everything's connected. And yet my mask is powerful, along with its many connections, can be seen until the 16th of April. It offers the chance to meditate on time, place, ecology, and poetry.